Sugar is a well-loved part of the diet of many a culture. Sugar is indigenous to South and Southeast Asia, and crystallized sugars date 5,000 years back to India. Over 350 million tons of sugarcane are produced in India each year. This story follows the cane from the field to the factory and its transformation into raw sugar. Once sugarcane is harvested, it is transported to the factory by any means possible. The cultivation of sugar requires a tropical or subtropical climate and is grown in 110 countries around the world primarily in the developing world. Half of the world's sugar is still harvested by hand. On arrival, it is cut and washed. After the cleaning process, a machine led by a series of rotating knives shreds the cane into pieces. The shredded cane is repeatedly mixed with hot water and crushed between rollers, which extract the juices from the pulp. The pulp that remains is dried and used as fuel. The raw juices move on through the factory to be clarified. Lime and carbon dioxide are added and the mixture is heated to boiling point in order to evaporate as much water as possible. The juices are then passed through a series of filters to remove any remaining impurities. Next is the crystallization process where any remaining water is evaporated. Inside a sterilized vacuum pan, pulverized sugar is fed into the pan as the liquid evaporates, causing the formation of crystals. The remaining mixture is a thick mass of large crystals which is sent to a centrifuge to spin and dry the crystals. The dried product is raw sugar, which is still inedible. It is stored in sacks before being transported to the refinery. From the 350 million tonnes of sugar cane produced in India each year, 13 million tonnes of sugar are produced.